Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter every day at 2 o'clock and give my honest thoughts on how that Kickstarter is being ran. Now, normally it's only board games, but on the weekends we do the wild, wild, whatever I want. And today I'm very excited to be checking out Vento, the ultimate portable fan. Foldable, extendable, portable, fully funded Kickstarter. So they've raised $90,000, 302% funded, and a wireless travel fan that is foldable, extendable, and rechargeable by Team Vento. So, let's check this out right here. By the time it gets to you, it'll probably be like in the last 72 hours, probably have like a last 72 hour thing. Alright. So, always when I come into these, the three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? And how much is it? Hopefully, you can get all three in this video. Here at Vento, we believe technology should be simple, portable, and wireless. Ooh. So, we set out to take your old, outdated fan... <laughs> Whoa, okay. Do I want it? Nailed it. Nailed it. Can you do it? How much? Introducing Vento, the ultimate portable fan. Vento is the first of its kind, a rechargeable wow. portable fan. The detachable wireless remote allows you to adjust the fan mm. speed, oscillation, and the LED light function. Vento's precision engineering oh. means it can fold down to just three and a half inches, but can still extend up to three and a half feet. The easy height adjustment gives you the versatility to use the fan in any situation. But when you really need to cool down... Okay, so I, I really want to look at this. I, I'm in a very critical mood today, and I want to look at this ad, and I want to say I feel like they're doing a great job here. Is that green screen right there? That might be green screen. Um, they're showing this person. Uh, who who is, is going about their day to, using it in all these different situations, and I love it. They're highlighting different situations where I might potentially use this fan and how it's something that I would just I would just have with me. I would just inherently would have this thing. It's just something I always have. Like, oh, yeah, I always bring this fan with me. Uh, and that's what I love because we love having those items, those those warm security blankets where we bring with me. Like, you know, maybe you got, like, a multi-tool thing in your purse or your wallet. Like, I got one where it's like, oh, it's a screwdriver, it's a bottle cap opener, it's a, you know, a rocket science thing. Um... So I, I love what they're doing this video so far. Vento's got you covered with three speed settings, from low to high. Cool. Vento's built I like that as well. I like the fact that they just kind of showed that, because, duh, of course you can. But the fact they showed, oh, you can just leave that in there and you just press the button. You don't have to take the remote out. Now, obviously, oh my gosh, an LED light. I'm so excited. Uh, <laughs> but that's... Uh, but but obviously, but I, I like the fact that they took the extra mile to be like, yeah, you don't have to use this remote. Because for me, when I saw the remote, I was like, oh, that's cool, but I'm totally going to lose that. I'm going to lose that super fast. And the fact that I can just leave it in there, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, the only thing that I would say is I want more things for scale next to it. I really do. I hope they do that at some point. An LED light makes the perfect nighttime oh, companion. Nice. Turning any room into a cool comfortable ambient space you'll never want to leave vento comes with a water resistant protective oh. travel case wow so whether you're off on an adventure or just chilling by the pool with friends you can always uh. take vento with you ah uh. ah uh. at the beach at the beach at the pool at the pool i mean I mean, hell, maybe you get hot in the movie theater. Maybe, like, I don't, I don't know anybody who would, but I'm sure there's some people who be hot in the movie theater and they see this and say, oh my god, it's perfect. Love it. Love this video. Vento's sure to power through any outdoor event, barbecue, or picnic. With the rechargeable battery lasting up to 48 hours on just one charge. <laughs> that was so... That, okay, that little scene right there was just odd. I want to go back and watch that. It looks so staged. I love it. I love the shirt, too. The shirt just looks so... Um, but yeah, so I want to watch this. Look at, just look at their faces. Like, I wanna, I'm just going to focus on one person at a time. Lasting up to 48 hours on just one charge. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. He's like, I don't know what to do. Lasting up to 48 oh, hours his face is covered. Battery, lasting up to do I do it yet? Do I do the fo fold the fan? Do I fold the fan? Is this where I fold the fan? Battery, lasting up to is this, oh, yeah, oh, this is where I fold the fan. Cool. <laughs> I don't know. I love little things like that. The 120 degree oscillating base means that Vento can keep everyone cool at the same time. <laughs> what? You can charge oh! Two. 
All of us here at Bento wanted to deliver a premium quality product that would fit the aesthetic and there we go. of the rest of our portable gadgets that make our lives better every day. Now, we just need your support, Kickstarter. So please, join us on this journey to help bring the ultimate portable fan to life. Awesome. Awesome. Very well done video. Uh, and one thing, I just got done watching the couch console, which has raised $1.5 million, and they did this so much worse than Vinto, Vento did. Uh, they, they seamlessly intertwine in there at, at the end. Can you do it? I now feel comfortable. You showed me a little bit of how the sausage gets made with the components and everything, and I feel comfortable with it. Do I want it? Yes. How much is it? That's what I hope you get to here first. I hope you don't beat around the bush and you just get it. This is the other thing. First created four back. That always looks bad. Like, it doesn't look as bad as first created zero back, but go in there, back 20 things for a dollar right now, and then all of a sudden, first created 24 back, and you look more like you're, you're telling the story that of, oh, we are we are someone who loves Kickstarter, we support Kickstarter, we love the, the idea of it, and now we've decided to bring a product here. Uh, because, yes, first created on, on something that looks incredibly ambitious like this, it's going to scare some people. Uh, like, what if that snaps? Like, what if that snaps? Like, I, I kind of, like, that's one thing that I'm a little worried about when I see that. But, anywho, price. Hopefully you give it the price. Vinto is the first fully electronic fold of fan that allows you to unplug and go. No longer are you limited to power sockets. Oh, don't do the redundant thing. Don't do the redundant thing that so many of these companies do. Yes, these are all things you told me. This is, these are pictures, no more of this or this. We get it, we get it, we get it. This is not an info, I mean, it is an infomercial, but no. Okay, so this is actually how it works a little bit. Cool. Let's hit me with the price. Don't make me go over here. I don't feel like I ever should ever have to go over this. This is a seam. This is a story. It's a story. Yeah, it's a story. This is the story of your product. And in this story, it should tell me about the product. And somewhere in there, it should seamlessly interweave the price and the shipping of that product. And right now, I feel like we're a bit redundant. I feel like you should have hit me with the price right off the get go. Because people want this fan. You did a great job on the video. Hit me with it. What is it? A hundred and. I'm going to guess 150. I'm going to guess 150. Is it 150? Cuz this is 150 bucks and I have 150 bucks and I don't care about 150 bucks. That's you know, that's a, <laughs> whatever. That's a day out shopping. There's a lot of people like that. Might not be you. It's definitely not me. Uh, but there's people like that and they love the idea of this fan. Absolutely. Maybe they get hot a lot. Lightweight, compact, cool. I know all these. These are clips. These are snips from we're redundant town. Redundant town. And this is something I see a lot of Kickstarters do. I feel like most people do watch the video. Now, some people don't watch the video. So it's important to have all this stuff right here. Absolutely. 100%. Be redundant as you want. But get me the crucial information before you get redundant. Because most people are going to watch your video. And they're going to come down here. And what are they going to want? I want to know the price. I want to know when it's going to ship. And I want to know the shipping. And I'm, I'm searching for it. i got to search for it. i got to be going through the stuff that I already... Man, 3.5 inches. That's what I want to know. That's great oscillating this is this looks like an amazing product <laughs> like this looks absolutely spectacular my wife oh my god my wife would love this thing she would absolutely adore this thing wireless remote cool buttons clickable fully electronic get it strong battery just redundant redundant carrying case yes we saw it, it was by the pool i was impressed then now i just want the price 89 dollars i said 150 I said 150 and I'd be like, okay, I can stomach that for what this is offering me. It's got a lot going on. It's an external battery charger. It's a fan. It's a light. It's, you know, it's it's super portable, super high quality in theory. It comes with a carrying case. You got $89. You slap that right on the front. Front door. This is your window. I would put that so early. Uh, I want to go back. I'm going to go back just a smidge. Actually, no, we're going to go to... Vento Kickstarter fan. Because I want to look at your main image and see if maybe that could be enhanced by the... Uh, yeah, I'd put 89 bucks. 89 bucks out the door. Because here's the thing. I uh, For what you're doing, I feel like you're giving a great price here. Um, And I would be marketing that price more. I mean, just that's the bottom line. You got yourself a good price for, for what looks like to be a very cool product. A, and not just a very cool product, but a very unique product. At least for me personally, I've never seen anything like this. And, and it excites me to no end about the potentials of it. $99. Uh, what is this? What is this one? What is, what's the difference? Why would I... Is this early bird? Is that what it is? Cool. 
So I do have to go over here now to figure this out. Seventy nine dollars early bird. Wish I had the money. Do not. But uh, how is it? Oh, so five left. Wait. So this is the seventy nine dollars. There's the eighty nine dollars. This is the vento. And then what does this one include more? This is the vento fan. And then this is the vento fan. Oh, this is another. Oh, oh, okay. So here's where things get weird. When those pledge holes don't get snatched up, it just looks kind of odd. And it becomes sort of confusing. Because as me as a backer, I see this early bird. I'm like, oh, $79. But then I see, wait, oh, there's $89. Is that just the regular? But then I see there's a $99. i am like, wait, is there something I'm missing out on here? Because you've made it confusing. This should not be confusing. You don't have. Like, look at this. Look at this pledge level here. Five Ventos. One backer. You know, uh, so that tells me that this is the kind of thing that you can handle in add-ons. This could be an add-on. You know, uh, the add-on is if you add on this much, you get an extra one. If you add on this much, you're going to get two extra ones. If you add on this much, you get three extra ones. Very simple. Not here cluttering things. Not here cluttering things. Heck, get rid of the two times. Honestly, this is one of those ones where all you need is the one pledge level. Maybe okay. So I get, I get, I get. You get the stretch goals here, or the um, you got yourself the uh, the early birds. But aside from that, I don't see why you need any other stretch goals. Just make it clean and clear. Our product is eighty nine dollars, unless you get it at the ninety nine dollar one, <laughs> which I think that is the regular price. That's gonna be the MSRP, maybe. I don't know, but it's not convenient. It's not clear. But this right here, eighty nine dollars. Just plop that on the top. Put that right. Your video did a great job. I feel like that should be the first thing people see. I say $89 for that fan. I think it's a pretty reasonable price. Right, maybe right underneath that, have the shipping. Shipping, because hopefully that's what we get into next. 8 inches by 3.5 inches. Okay. Cool. Great. Give me shipping. This is great. Sausage gets made. Love seeing this. Love it. Love it. Makes me feel, makes me feel comfortable. But I already felt comfortable because you added that in the video. But this, having it down here, makes me feel good. But you know what I want? Okay, great. Great, great, great. We got we got a lot of people working on the product. Excellent. Superb. Supporting partners. Cool. Don't care. Where's the shipping? What in the god dang is wrong with these electronic companies? Okay, so a little behind the scenes stuff. I shoot all the weekend segments on Friday. So this is now the second uh, wild, wild weekend electronic one that I've said, and both of them have not listed their shipping. How? Uh, it's just in board games. You would be, you would be absolutely burned at the stake if you just don't do shipping. Like it's, it's just, it's almost a deal breaker for for so many people. And the fact that they just do it so flippantly in the tech sector, give me the shipping. I don't know the final price on this. Because I don't have the shipping. Now, hopefully it's in the FAQ, which has 17, but let's go there. But either way, it's got to be here somewhere. And honestly, what I would do, <clears throat> your video is so well done, everything looks good, take this $89. Slap it right at the top. Right at the top, $89, then maybe under there have the shipping cost. And then, go into your long-winded, loquacious... Um, elevator pitch which is in the video but for the people who didn't watch the video then they can see why they should spend the 89 dollars on it but the overwhelming majority of people are going to watch the video they're going to say wow that's really cool i want that and they're going to want to back it and they want to know the price or they're going to see it and they're going to be like eh, i don't really think i could use that and maybe they still want to know the price but most likely they've clicked on but the people that want to back it make it easy for them to find and yes i know they can go over here but over here it's still it's not as it's not it's not early bird and then there's the vento but why is this vento different from that vento oh and then it's like because i see the stretch goals it, it just make it cleaner <clears throat> the stretch goals no stretch goals which means it's going to be hard to get people engaged in this but <clears throat> and so i would i would honestly recommend stretch goals and i say this to everybody i totally recommend stretch goals because it's not just about having the great product and telling me you can you know telling me you can make it but it's also keeping people actively engaged because the middle of a Kickstarter is normally the dead period, and you have to keep people engaged and daily unlocks or, oh, do you offer international shipping? Here we go. <clears throat> the shipping fee will be automatically calculated for, oh, okay. Okay. So, okay. So if it's automatically done, I strike a lot from the record, but I still would say in the pledge level on the right side, 
uh, shipping is calculated automatically after you do this. So let's see how it works. Let's see how it works. Let's see if it does it. Yeah. So twenty nine dollars. So I would mention that. I mentioned that this is hundred because like, like I said, like I said, I was thinking one hundred and fifty. I was thinking one hundred and fifty because I know top end fans are expensive. So you you're hitting me with seventy nine. $108 out the door, I would totally put that right up here. Introducing the veto. $108 will have it shipped to you anywhere in the United States of America. $120 for Canada, and then have, like, the whole thing up there. And then, um, yeah, you're good. You're done. But I would, I would go that little extra step. Make it easier for your customer. Because I looked everywhere to find the shipping info. Because I want to know the shipping info before I back. I really do. I want to know the shipping info before I back because it's important to me. It's very important to me that if I'm buying a $25 board game and I find out it's going to cost $15 to ship, I'm like, Pfft. it changes my mind. So I would be, I would let people know somewhere in here, shipping is done automatically through there. <clears throat> okay. Good. I'm glad. Is there any accessibility required for Vento? Open the box, charge it, turn it on, done. No assembly is required. Oh, that is beautiful. I would also mention that somewhere in your page. Can I take Vento on the plane with me? Travel friendly. These are great questions. <clears throat> so stretch goals. Let's start thinking of some stretch goals, some unlocks. And and for tech companies, I understand it's a lot more difficult when you're making a product like this. You can't just add promo cards. But you can give people uh, advertising material. And what I mean by that is you say, okay, we hit this stretch goal. Everybody's going to get um, a bottle opener with our logo on it. And you, you go to one of those promo websites and you make a whole bunch of them. Or something that you would use with a fan. So, like, uh, so this is, you know, our first stretch goal will be uh, the beach thing where you'll get yourself uh, a bottle opener and, uh, I don't know, like one of those uh, foam frisbees or something. You know, and it's going to cost you extra money. It will. But, I mean, you factor that into the price and you have people getting excited. And the next one's going to be for the at-work thing, which means it's going to include, you know, a coffee cup uh, holder, like a mug thing. The, 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 the thing that you put on top of the coffee cup, I got one from a company, actually, a promotional one, which is why I had this idea. Um, well, they had the idea. Where well, you put it on top and it keeps your coffee warm, but it has your logo on it. So this is the desk unlock to make it you know, more, more functional for the fan. So connect that some way to the fan, and you can get all these people who are interested in this product, engaged in this product, uh, commenting more, because I see 78 comments. That's not good. That's not good at all like that's really bad that shows me that you're not getting people engaged um and so if you're gonna pay some extra money i, I well because i think it could make the difference i really do because this is such a cool product well the battery really lasts for 48 consecutive hours depending on the speed setting and function use the battery can even last up to 60 hours at low speed awesome the fan mounted on a wall wow there's a hole mount on the back of the fan to allow for upright hanging like a clock that's cool do you want to face plate to clean the fan displays no uh awesome these are really great questions in the FAQ. Banging it. When I saw 17, I thought there was going to be some weak questions. I like these questions a lot. What is, okay, so here's the weak one. What is Kickstarter? How do I play it? What are all these buttons? Yeah, those are the ones I hate. But you have great ones here, too. So I, it's all forgiven. Uh, eight updates. Spectacular. I did the, the couch console. Couch console, I gave it a zero. I, give this, I normally give these zero, one, or two. Two, two is back for the whale. One is come back in the last 48 hours. And zero is uh, just keep clicking. And I gave it a zero just because they had one update. They had one update in 32 days. No updates. They didn't respond to any of the comments on their first update. And then to hide the fact that they didn't respond to the comments. And you know what? I shouldn't say that because this is all speculative. This is all speculative. It uh, looks like they tried to hide the comments section by making it so that only backers could look at the comments. Ah, uh, blah, blah. The things you see doing Kickstarter critiques. Hey, Vento Bagger team, happy Friday. Look good. So these are these are frequent updates. Awesome. You're not getting as much engagement as you probably want here. Six comments there, zero comments here, and those are the kind of things where where right here. I, I swear to I swear to you, if these are instead saying. Oh, so these are giveaways. These are this is these are you trying to uh oh these are you try oh wow, these are good. These are good updates. Hey guys, I'm I'm in the EU case uh, factory today. That is spectacular. like these are updates. Oh my goodness, you're trying to draw the engagement. These are spectacular. You're doing giveaways, great, but I think I think really the key to getting people coming back 
is oh now you're now you're uh, advertising other stuff and, and that, you know you're trying you know you're trying to get you're trying to scratch and get that extra attention any way shape or form you can i get that i understand that i think it's a bad look personally but if it works it works and i don't know if it works but these updates look good um but i still think something like just giving away like how much does it cost you to make and ship a keychain you know uh, logistically dollar I think it's a dollar, right? Like, because I don't know. It would have to be maybe something. I don't know. You'd have to find a company to be willing to ship it out. I don't know exactly how it would work, but it would be it would be such a small thing. But you could be like, all right, so here's the voting. We want to do a stretch goal thing. We want to start. What's the one that you're most intrigued in? Where, where are you most expecting to use it? Was it the coffee mug holder? Is it the the bottle cap or at the beach? What is it? And people can vote on it. And that could be like an extra stretch goal. And you can get people say, let us know in the comments. What are some amazing things that you think you, what are some amazing items that you might be using with this that we could potentially do as cool little giveaways? And you'll get like this cool little giveaway bag. It'll be completely separate. So it'll be like a cool little goodie bag that you get. It's like, oh, it gets you excited about the fan. Maybe send that out earlier. Maybe send that out later. It doesn't really matter. But it's a separate thing entirely. But the amount of people that could be potentially engaged because 78 comments is not good when you have five days left to go. Now, I don't know if this was a flash one. It might have been over only a week or something like that. But uh, <clears throat> 78 comments is rough. Let's check it out. Love the idea of this fan. And even though the price is a bit steep, I'm okay with paying for quality. So I backed. Okay, so Eline has a different uh, opinion on the price than I do. I actually thought it was kind of reasonable for what I consider to be a really nice item. But everybody's different that's what's unique about the kickstarters the message about the 90 day warranty makes me doubt my pledge though Ooh, offering only 90 day warranty Ooh, Ooh yeah that's a that's a rough one <laughs> hi line thanks for the question so as a team we're planning on offering a full three month warranty on all vento fans sent out to all backers normally if you're familiar with kickstarters most startups here don't offer any type of warranty as there are potential risks okay that's fair i don't see many you know i just saw a lifetime warranty on the couch console Maybe that lifetime warranty is what got people. Hmm. That's one to sit on. I don't know. <laughs> uh, if you get an extended warranty for around $15, as a team will get the settled. Okay. Okay, extended warranty. I like that. I'm cool with that. Is it possible to hang the Ultimate Portal fan on a wall? They add that to the FAQ. Great. Top notch. That's what I like seeing. I'm a hot sleeper just in general. Great. They're on it. They're active, involved, engaged. Ooh, lots of canceled pledges, though. That always looks bad. R ruggization. Giving the extended. Okay. How water is this system? Okay, this is a really important question to answer. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I, I have to go to the bathroom, but now I really need to see why these people canceled their pledges. <sighs> you guys are the real deal. I can't believe I bought a fan in the middle of winter in Germany when there's snow still coming. Okay, cool. Haha, <laughs> what's this? I backed you with only a dollar as last four projects I backed never got anything. Ooh, yeah. Was even provided with a fake tracking for DHL. Jesus. I'll buy three of your fans and maybe even five when you sell them on your website. I've been let down so many times, and when you complain online, Kickstarter banned me from posting any messages. I wish you all the best, and I'm looking forward when I can buy your fan online. Please keep me updated. Yeah. And that's why I try and do these Kickstarter critiques. Mark, I need to reach out to Mark and be like, hey, Mark, come check this segment out. Because I try to really look at all these little tiny things. These little red flags that you might not see like that. Uh... Like, the, the, the $15 add-on warranty, I love that. But Mark's got a great point. And it's not necessarily a derogatory comment towards this Kickstarter. It's just in general. I've been burned so many times, and I don't want to get burned again. So, yeah. Great. You're spotted to this person's canceled the pledge. Is this Mark again? I also miss asking if the remote was IR. Uh, if the remote was IR. E.g. something that can be obstructed easily, say, blades of glass while outside, or something like Bluetooth, which can be easily blocked. You're asking a premium price. We have to ask all the questions. Cheaper fans get a pass on. And I, okay, okay. Hi, Michael. He, Leo from Engineering here. Great, love it. And this is sausage get made. Oh my goodness, what is? I don't want to read all this. I don't want to read all this. But yes, this is exactly. I imagine what Michael wants to read. That is an excellent, excellent. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Go, Leo. You rock, Leo. You're my favorite. <laughs> all right. Uh, what do we got here, Michael? These are fantastic answers, and I agree that the... Oh, wow. Yeah. So he's he's still unbacked. That sticks. Still not happy with the 30-day shipping or the 90-day warranty. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. So, therein lies the question, is it 
better to offer the 90 day warranty or just to not mention a warranty at all because you bring up the point of saying most company most of these companies don't have any warranties we're at least giving you one but by giving us one it's like oh only 90 days like i'll probably use a fan you know like uh it's a double-edged sword there it really is interesting <clears throat> thanks for the sponsor team we have blah 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 we're charging what is this <laughs> what i just signed up and have a few questions hoping to answer prior the kickstarter closing loss of ability to cancel the pledge uh uh hopefully oh no answer the question no michael answer no is that the guy that canceled yeah these are important questions these scare me these scare me the comment section scare me daddy can you consider eu shipping friendly please uh these so they're on it so final ruling zero one or two i gotta go with a one it's a one. They, they they made me feel comfortable with the product enough. They did. But there's a lot of red flags. There's a lot of little tiny red flags. You know, the first created, uh, not answering some people's questions on the comments there. That was a three-day-old comment. You got to get to that. Uh, the shipping is, yeah, because I look at the shipping from a board game perspective. And yeah, if this is a, a, a three-inch by eight-inch fan, in theory, it shouldn't cost you that much to ship it. I mean, hell, they're I, three by eight inches. I feel like that, that's a, that's a flat rate, medium flat rate shipping envelope. You know, that's seven, eight bucks to ship anywhere to the continental United States right there. Now, obviously, if you want to pad it a little bit more, you're probably looking at about maybe nine, 10, 11, 12 bucks anywhere in the continental United States. But you know what? I definitely, $29. Yeah, that is a, that is, that is that is just absolutely taking me over a barrel there. I see the point here. I see his point completely. And why is the shipping so high? I'm, I, I already gave a zero today to the couch console. I'm not going to go here. I'm going to go with one. But I, I ho it, it's a one. But I do want some of these answers, these questions answered. Hey, why is it twenty nine dollars shipping? What is that in the FAQ? Then the FAQ, no, yeah, twenty nine dollars shipping. Like that's that that that's like a that's like a see big board games ship for for a lot less than that. So what what is it about this fan that is supposed to be compact that is 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 making twenty nine dollars shipping? Uh, yeah, let's check let's check some other parts of the world too. Select a country, uh, Tanzania, Thailand. Let's see where are they shipping from. Is it just twenty nine? everywhere oh no 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 that's terrible that's terrible no well here's the thing in theory it sounds good it sounds great everybody's fair everybody's equal but here's the thing that's not how the world works uh last time i checked it was roughly 50 percent of the people that are using kickstarter are, 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 are from the united states of america 50 percent of kickstarter 50 is the united states of america the rest is the rest of the world okay the rest of the world is half, and then we are half, so who should you be marketing this towards? Now, I understand you're like, oh, the rest of the world, but no, <laughs> it shouldn't be the rest of the world. You should probably be marketing to the United States of America. And I sound like a total you know, American for that, but it just makes smart business sense. Uh, yeah, $29 shipping. I'm going to give it a one, very tepid one. But that is the Vento, the ultimate portable fan. Product-wise, looks amazing, though, but the Kickstarter, rough rough if you're enjoying what i'm doing please sure to click on that subscribe button do and down below i do a kickstarter critique every single day at two o'clock and as always thanks for your time youtube